Hey peeps, this is Andercon. It's going to be a couple weeks before uh, Industrial Craft and build, and build Craft update their mods, so I'm just going to keep on keeping on for a while. So today I'm going to show you uh, construction foam and a construction foam sprayer and a nano suit. So to build a construction foam sprayer, you'll need four cobblestone and a stick. Quite simple recipe. Put it like so, and you'll get your empty CF sprayer. Now I had to make a construction foam and construction foam pellets, these things here, uh, to fill it up and uh, use it. So you're going to need redstone, coal, clay, and uh, you're going to need one empty cell. So 410 will make uh, 16 empty cells, and you'll just need one of them. Uh, combine that with a water bucket to get a water cell and go ahead and combine all uh, nine of your clay Ooh, well, I guess it actually only takes four nowadays to make a clay block and you'll have to throw that in a macerator uh, next you'll have to take your coal and throw it in the macerator as well and this will give you coal dust so next, take your redstone, your coal dust, one clay dust, and your water cell in uh, the crafting table. And this can go in here in any way. It doesn't matter. It'll still work. And this will give you three construction foam. Now, this stuff you can place down by itself. And uh, it's pretty well hollow. Like, you can jump into it, and it'll spit you out. But after a bit, it'll, uh, it'll solidify and turn into a solid block. Uh, however, that's the most inefficient way to use it. If you want to turn one construction foam block into 13, all you have to do is throw it in a compressor, and it'll turn it into a CF pellet. Actually, I think it'll turn... Uh, you can spray twice out of a CF sprayer with one pellet. So it'll probably give you 26 blocks. Alrighty, there's your CF pellet. Now, I've got a whole bunch of these already made up. And so, there's two ways to fill up a CF sprayer. Uh, you can just put one next to it in the crafting bench or in your own little four wide or uh, two wide crafting bench here. Like so. Oh, that's clay dust. Hold on. This here. And you can just keep on doing this until it fills up. And it'll take eight of them to fill it up. Or if you got a completely empty one, you can put that in the center and surround it with the CF pellets. And it'll fill it completely up. So now I got two of these. And uh, I got a big building over here I'm going to add a new floor to. So I've been working on this for a little while. This will be uh, my build craft uh, factory, basically. Where I do all my, uh, where I put all my engines, refine all my oil and stuff like that, and I felt like I'd build it out of the stuff. So uh, there's a couple different ways you can use this. You can just do this, and it'll, you know, just right click, and it'll put a whole bunch of the stuff up somewhere. Uh, and then you'd have to bust some of it down. Or if you are pointing more downwards, and preferably toward, uh, beside a wall somewhere. Uh, sometimes it doesn't always work right. Stuff's a little iffy. Let's see. If I have something I'm standing on, maybe it'll work a little better. Alright, that's the block after it's solidified. There we go. Now, if you're standing above it and uh, you're pointing downwards more, it'll fill up a... Uh, it'll place 13 squares of the construction foam on the floor. And it'll do it in whatever pattern it feels like for the most part. And uh, it'll fill in any holes below it as well. So it just filled in that hole that was down there. Now the other way to use this is to use a form. Because uh, this is basically like a liquid in a way. At least it acts like it is. So if you wanted to fill in a complicated shape, you would build an outline for the whole thing. And then you would just right click and fill the whole thing in with it. Uh, that's how I made these corners. 
uh, I put up uh, blocks beside the empty hollow spot where I wanted all the uh, construction foam to go and built this entire thing and then just sprayed two or three times and filled it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a floor in here and it'll take a while. Now this stuff uh, can be dangerous. If you've got this stuff high, like two or three high, and you walk into it, it will suffocate you. you know, until you manage to get out, anyway. And sometimes it'll just be a little pain and not quite place things where you want it. Like now I got hollows all over the place. Go. Ah, another, another hollow. There we go. And it's coming right along. So it's a pretty easy way to fill in a big floor really quick. Now, putting up walls like this is a lot more work. It took quite some time. And just jumping with this stuff works really good. I'm almost done. Now, you might be wondering why would you want to use construction foam besides just the ease of, you know, building a floor or something? Why would I want to use that instead of, say, stone? Because it looks kind of like it. Well, you can paint this different colors. Well, back in my workshop, I'm going to show you how to make a paintbrush. You're going to need three wool and a cup of iron. I'm going to make a couple different paint brushes so I can have two different colors to work with. So you put your wool up here, like so, and your iron like this. And I think you can just switch this over to, let me see, yep, it'll work in any direction. And it'll give you a painter. Now this painter doesn't have any paint applied. I'll go ahead and make a second one. Now to put uh, any paint on the painter, you have to take just any piece of uh, dye and it'll make a colored painter. I'm going to use blue and green. Now these things uh, wear out after a while and you'd have to make a whole new one. But uh, they're pretty useful for painting this stuff. And uh, if you got a couple of the same type of wire next to each other, you can paint them two different colors and they'll separate. So, uh, let's see, what color do I want stuff? Uh, blue floor, I guess? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, say if I wanted it red, I can just do this. And uh, you can paint over other colors too. So, making a big floor or wall out of construction foam would be fantastic. Fantastic for uh, any of your pixel art uh, projects. And that would be quite a lot of fun. I might have to do that sometime. I've done a little bit of pixel art in my days. So, uh, I don't. It'll take a lot of wool, or, well, a lot of these painters to do anything big, because this isn't really a whole lot. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I painted over that, so that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen. And I've never ran one of these out before, and I didn't know it actually kept the painter. So, hey, that's good news. Uh, you can paint sixteen squares before you would have to re-dye a square with it. Oh, that's that's a lot easier than using wool. I have to keep that in mind. That's pretty awesome. All right, next up, uh, I'm gonna put this stuff away, and we're gonna make uh, some nano suit stuff. I I've been wearing a pair of nano suit boots for quite a long time. Now, why would you want to use that instead of like regular armor, like iron or even diamond? Well, this stuff is, I believe, nearly as strong as diamond. But uh, you can throw that right into the MFSU or an MFE, and it'll charge back up after it's damaged. So you'll never have to, uh, you know, make another suit of armor again unless you throw yourself in lava for whatever reason. So uh, it's made out of two components, and the uh, first one starts with coal dust. So you have to throw your coal dust and your coal into a macerator and uh, get coal dust. And the other thing you're going to need is uh, diamonds and redstone. Now put your red uh, diamond in the center of a crafting circle, 
surrounded by redstone and give you an energy crystal. Each piece of armor requires one energy crystal. And in a bit, all the coal dust will be done. Well, I got a whole bunch down in here. Now if you wanted an entire suit, it would take 168 coal dust. That's quite a bit. So you'll take all your coal dust, throw it into your crafting table, and uh, it'll take uh, just say four pieces to do uh, one raw carbon fiber um, and then you'll have to have two of those to make a raw carbon fiber uh, well you'll need two of these to make a uh, raw carbon mesh and you'll put that into a compressor and after a bit it'll eventually give you a carbon plate. Now you'll need quite a few of these especially if you want to make a full set. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a whole bunch of these and uh, show you how to make uh, put them all together for uh, the nano suit armor. Alright, a few minutes later and I've got 21 carbon plates and uh, to make a full set you'll need 21 a piece of glass, four energy crystals. Now everything's pretty well like a normal uh, like regular armor, the way you set it up, except this is a pair of boots. You'll need an energy crystal in the center. And you'll get your nano suit boots. And here is a chest plate. Except we've got to replace the center piece right here with an energy crystal. And uh, see, leggings. Crystal in the crotch. Yeah, yeah. It's the family jewels. So there's your nano suit leggings, and uh, the helmet's a little different. It requires a piece of glass where your hel uh, face is going to be, and there's your uh, nano suit helmet. Then you got to charge these things up in the MFSU, and that'll take a while. And a few minutes later, I'm done filling these things up. Uh, each one takes 40,000 units of energy, and I'll go ahead and slap all these on. I have a spare suit, uh, set of uh, boots for later, in case I ever kick the bucket. I'm looking pretty spiffy. Let's see, F1, nope, it was F5, there we go. Uh, too bad you can't see my face in this version. Uh, maybe later, in uh, 1.0. But uh, here's what I look like from the back. And, let's see, go ahead and... What little bit you can see in this very dark outline of my front. Pretty spiffy. Uh, and it, uh, the boots work for uh, the elevators. So that's it for the nano suit, but uh, I'm going to show you a, one extra piece of miscellaneous uh, armor. And this is a pair of rubber boots. You'll need six rubber and a piece of wool. And it goes like this. And I'll give you a, pe a pair of rubber boots. Now these have uh, a special feature. I uh, I don't think they're rechargeable or anything, and I don't know if they work for this. Nope, they don't work for um, the elevator, but uh, they work for uh, for high jumps. Uh, they'll help absorb some of the uh, fall damage. So I gotta go see if I can find a good place to throw myself off a cliff. Uh, I think I've got a good spot here. Should be a hollow spot down here somewhere. Am I? giant cave of doom. I can just throw myself off a cliff. Hopefully I won't die or get stuck since I didn't think to bring any of my stuff with me. Shit. Uh, let's see. Around here somewhere. I know there's a um, big hollow area over here. I can just throw myself in. And hopefully not land in the lava. Uh, let's see. I got this else? Yeah, I'll just drop straight down. Ooh. Wow. That big of a drop, and I only got one piece of damage. Of course, I do have st still a bunch of this armor on. I'm a wood. And hopefully I can get out of here without burning to death. So, let's try this again with just those boots on. I'm at a height of 40, as y equals 40. And I'll drop down to this right here. Ooh. Wow, only half the heart of damage. And I dropped down to 17. So uh, it's quite a fall and one huge amount of uh, damage reduction on your falls. 
I highly recommend some rubber boots. Uh, let's see. Well, I think that's it for today. And I'll talk to you guys later.